Before we start to program, we need to cover some fundamentals. First of all, if you are just getting into programming, you are probably overwhelmed by choice. Besides Python, you could learn a few hundred other programming languages. Some have clear names, like HTML5 or Java, while others are much more difficult to separate, like C, C Sharp, and C++. So what makes each language different, and where should you start? Also, how does Python compare to these other languages? One good way to separate these languages is by using two axes. The first one is about the language being made for a specific purpose, or if it is more open-ended. For example, SQL and R are programming languages for highly specific purposes. Databases and data analysis, respectively. On the other side, you have languages like Python, that can also analyze data and run databases, but can do a lot more besides that. This flexibility is one of the reasons why Python is so popular. It just can do a ton of different things. Although this line is not static. The best example for that is HTML. Initially, it was purely a language to make websites. It was very much designed for a single purpose. However, over time, people kept on adding more to it. And nowadays, you can make apps and games with HTML. It became much more flexible. And that is the main reason why modern websites are as powerful as they are. The other axis is the level of abstraction. Now, when I say a language is more abstract than another, I don't mean to say it's more complex. Instead, abstraction refers to how far removed a language is from physical computer hardware. Let's use HTML again. To see a website written in HTML5, you first need a browser like Chrome or Safari. That browser in turn runs on an operating system, and only that operating system has access to actual physical computer hardware. There is a huge difference between the HTML code and the computer it runs on. That means HTML is a very abstract language. This, however, does not mean that HTML is more difficult than a less abstract language. Quite the opposite, actually. In broad terms, the more abstract a language is, the easier it is to use. That is because a less abstract language needs to work with computer hardware. It needs to be very specific about memory management. You sometimes have to write for different kinds of computer hardware. And generally, it is very easy to break things. Now, in this axis, Python, like HTML, is a very abstract language. In fact, Python itself was created using another programming languages. That one is called C. And this language is much less abstract. Generally, in the bottom right of this graph, you have all of the C languages, like C, C Sharp, and C++. You also have Java down there. The differences between them are mostly technical, and you don't really have to worry about them, at least for now. That being said, C Sharp was only created because Microsoft didn't want to pay license fees to the creators of Java. These two languages are very similar. So there can be a ton of overlap between these different languages. They are not entirely unique. Now, when you are just getting started, you want to begin in the top right of this graph with more abstract general purpose languages. These are easy to learn, work everywhere. There's a huge community for support and resources and you can use them for a huge variety of projects. What you also want to be aware of is that all programming languages are somewhat similar. If you know Python, for example, you can learn C or SQL much more easily. This is actually a really common pattern. People start programming in Python and then migrate to another language. Python was actually designed to be a tool to learn programming itself. And it just happened to expand over time to become a really popular languages by itself. Although that doesn't mean that you couldn't stick with Python, especially for data science. Think of artificial intelligence, databases, and data analysis. Python very often is the default choice. And these are fields where you can earn a lot of money. It is totally fine to stick with Python by itself entirely for your entire career. Lots of people do that. But generally, if you are not sure yet what language you want to go for, don't worry about it. What you're learning in Python can very easily be migrated to another language. What you want to do is just get started somewhere and work on projects you like and see how far you get. And if you feel like changing, you can totally do that and not start from scratch. 
a lot of things you are going to learn you can use in other languages as well. You are always going to make some progress even if you are switching. 